everyone i'm sharing you with you how to make another wallet here i have the interfacing and um, the size of this interfacing is 12 by 12. i'm going to use this to make a template i'm gonna fold in this way fold it in half on the side up you're going to mark nine inches and then on the fold also nine inches You're gonna connect this just like so. I'm going to fold it in half this way. You just want the top center where you just mark the line like that. And then you can use the ruler the, or the place. If you have place or bowl, you're gonna round this area. Round the top down like this. Now you can fold it back and then you can cut. So now you have something like that. See the line in the middle? You're going to cut that. So then you have two templates. Make it so much easier to do this, everyone. So you don't have to do two. Now you're gonna find the fabric. You're going to place it on two men's fabric and two for the linings. So everyone, it's right here. I have the fabric. Last time I got it from Walmart, it's one dollar a yard, and it's shimmery, so beautiful. So now I'm gonna place it in here for both of them. But you're gonna do the other one exact the same. You place it on it and then iron. But you want to make sure that you have around a quarter of an inch. That for your seam allowance. So just like that. And then you're going to go around that. I already have a quarter of an inch. And then you go on in here and then cut around a quarter of an inch around. Okay? And then do the same thing to this one. Also two for the lining. Okay, everyone, after I cut this one with the quarter of an inch all around, I cut, I place on the blue and I cut another one like this. So now you're going to place the right side to the right side. And I have to cut this one too. There's two of them. So now we're going to sew all around, but you're going to on the straight line here. You can leave two or three inches open. Same thing to here, leave it open. Now you're going to follow the interface and let me show you this one. Follow the interface and so on the side of the interface and all the way to the curve all the way down. Down to here and stop lift this open so you can inside out. You also need to do this one too. Follow the interface and so all around. All around down to here and stop lift this open. So everyone after I sew both of them and then here I left it open so you can go and trim the corners I usually do this over here because I don't want to trim in too close to it I need to fold it down so you can do that also for some people have a hard time cutting the straight line I suggest you to get the scissor I just want to use it to show you how good it cut. When you do with the interfacing, you don't need to zigzag this area. Just round it like this. Then after that, you can fold this. Inside out. For both of them.
Okay, you're gonna do exactly the same to this one. So everyone, after you iron, go ahead and top stitch this part right here. So that's where that you close in this. Also this one right here. So everyone, after I top stitch in this straight line and this one also, now we're going to place the right side to the right side, but you're gonna make sure everything it lie up clip it so everything will stay in there for you just want to make sure whatever you do make sure it's nice and even so clip it down just for now bring this straight line up just for now so you can mark everything so from that line on the side in three four up and in and then this one three four up and in and then i go up four inches and this two four inches same thing okay so like this everyone I like you to sew this line and this line and this line. Leave the top open. So now everyone, you see, I sew on this and this and this. Okay, and now you go to this side right here, just one. You're going to flap it up like this, flap it down. When you flap it down, you're gonna make sure everything here is lie up. So, so easy. And then you're gonna clip in one side. Remember you have two. So I have two right here, everyone, okay? So this is one side of the wallet. Clip it down. And then this side, you're gonna do that. You also have to clip it down too. You put it down so you can clip it. Okay, so now after you clip in this one side, turn into this side, you're gonna do on this side too. Put it up, same way. You're going to sew from the bottom, go all the way up and go to the flap and go all the way and then go on to this side, go all the way down to here. When you're done sew on this side, you're going to take this up, turn into the other way, fold this down so you can see where you're sewing and then do exact the same. When you do that, you're going to start from the bottom, okay, from the bottom where the fold is. Go all the way down, all the way, all the way down to here, to here, all the way. All right, let me just show you. So for this side, I'm gonna go on the bottom of that. Lift this up so you can sew this part right here. Very simple, everyone can do. Okay, that is one side, and then the other side you're doing exact the same.
Isn't that so easy? Now you have one side is here and then the other side of the wallet right there. And then you have the thing in the middle that way we so so cute. And then flap it down and we're going to add the button to it and we are good to go. See that? Symbol and it's easy. Fold it, flap. You can mark the center right there. Fold it down. Hold your hand like this. Okay, separate those two. And it's about half an inch that I normally do, half an inch away from the. This is the line that we just marked the center. Poke the hole. So now add the button to it. And that is one and then you go on to the, the other one the other one I like to use this round I don't want to use my flower so I'm gonna go into here go into the holes and then you go on to get another one with the hole sticking in place it on it and start pushing this asses down and you have that Bring it down there you go. Do exactly the same for this side. Okay. So everyone, I am finished with this. And then this have two sides and then the thing in the middle too. It is so cute. Look at that. Very easy to do. And now I'm going to measure it. So you can see how big it is, how tall, how high, blah, blah, blah. Six inches. Four in and half. Okay, so here you can place many thing in there if you like. You put the money on one side, and then you get some craft you put on one side. There's more for you to put. So if you want to make it bigger, you can go out to term. I would say you can go out 14 inches by 14, and then you do bring this wire so you can put the phone in there if you like okay thank you so much for watching everyone please continue to support my channel like share and subscribe and also click on the like button if you support my channel look at this side isn't that so cute so adorable love you thank you so much everyone